Hey Jacko, in today's video I'll show you how to turn a daylight footage into a night one in DaVinci Resolve Studio and also the free version. Not only that, I'll also show you how to make some changes because everyone has a different taste and how to add some lights or maybe a moon. Now let's get digital. I'll be using the same clip as you just saw and all of the changes that I'll make, I'll make them in the color page. Now if you have a studio version, this is a one button solution because you have a LUT called day for night that you can simply apply to the node and you have the night look. Now how do you do this in the free version, I'll show you and once we get to this point, I'll also show you how to make some changes to make this footage look nicer. So I'll simply reset the node grid, I don't need any LUTs. In the first node, what you can do is adjust the curves, usually you use an S curve to lower the shades and increase the brightness. You could also reverse this if you want to. So I suggest you have this in one node and you can always disable it if you don't like it or change the shape of it. Now I'll use Alt S to make a serial node. In this one, I'll just lower the saturation maybe not all the way down, we'll see, and lower the gain, maybe to about 0.55. Then I'll use another serial node, Alt S. In this one, I'll adjust the color, so this will be a bluish tint. Then I'll lower the contrast, this can be anywhere between 0.9 and 0.8. It could also be lower, you can also increase it depending on what you want. Now you can adjust the contrast here and if you disable this node, you will get a different look as you can see. So this will work in combination with this node. We'll then lower the gain. We can also adjust the offset by a tiny bit and we can also lower the lift and lower the gamma by a tiny bit. Now let's see the difference with the custom curves off and on. I like the curves more, maybe I'll adjust it a little bit, maybe even lower the highlights. You can also adjust the lift to a bit of a bluish tint. So maybe something like this. This can be your starting point. I'll just quickly apply the day to night LUT so that we can see the difference between this one and the one I just made. So this one is a little bit more bluish and mine is a little bit more purple at the moment. You can always adjust that. And this one has a bit more muted colors. Now I think this is good enough. You can always come back and make adjustments, but what I want to show you now is the next step after I have this base LUT applied, so either you use the studio version or you make your own, so I'll show you on this one. So the sky is a little bit too bright at the moment, so I'll make a new serial node. I'll go to the power window, make a polygon shape. In this case, I think I'll do it something like so. I'll want to adjust the inside softness and the outside softness and lower the gamma. We can also lower the lift and again, and if need be, we can also adjust the color a little bit. Maybe something like this, if you want to see the changes and the power window is in the way, you can click on another node that doesn't have it or you can go to here and turn this to off. So that's looking nice, maybe this should also be a little bit darker, so what I'll do is I'll add another power window, Alt S, I'll cover it something like so, increase the insides, increase the outsides, lower the gamma, that looks kind of okay, we can make additional points and maybe also increase the outside and the inside, 
so it blends a little bit nicer. Now I can add another one down here. Adjust the insides, adjust the outsides, lower the gamma, maybe something like that. And now if you want to add some lights, or in this case a moon, we'll add another node. In this case it will be an ellipse. Make it small or as big as you want. Position it. Increase the lift. Now this is the softness. So we have to lower the softness. Something to about 0.4. In this case anyway. Now because I can't see much with this, I'll turn off the power window. And I can also adjust the color. So maybe a yellowish one. And then I can go to the key to lower it again. So it's not fully visible, maybe to 0 0.8. And I can also add another one. Repeat the process, but make this ellipse a little bit bigger and leave the softness. So just the lift. Disable this. Let's see what we have. Adjust the key. Sign like that. Maybe we could also disable the key on this one and adjust the softness. Maybe sound like that. And if you want to get the cool transitions, you have the built in options, effects, video transitions. I've used the edge wipe. You can also use the triangles and some other ones. Simply apply it to the top clip. You can position this transition in the center, if it's not possible, that's okay. You'll want to change the angle, increase the duration, I'll use 60 frames, so this is 2 seconds, add some border and feathering. Now if you take a look how it looks like, but if you want to make a nicer transition, you'll want to overlap both clips. And then shorten the top one, so that once the transition happens, the clip actually stays the same. And that's it! If you found the video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell notification icon so you know when my next video comes out. I'm Simon, and until next time, Jackals, keep it digital!